Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good Saturday to all y'all. Hope y'all are off of work, unlike me. With that being said, before we get into the video, give it a thumbs up if you like, sub if you really like, because that is what helps me out the most, and hit that bell if you don't mind. With that being said, let's talk about it. We got Callum Smith from the UK versus Canelo Alvarez from Mexico. How do I see this fight going? Now, to my UK fans, guys, I am unbiased on this channel. I know I just picked up a bunch of y'all, but I really do not see Callum Smith beating Canelo Alvarez, and I'm gonna give a good reason why. So how I look at this is I've got to go from high tier opponents that they fought of similar stature, okay? Now, John Ryder will be the tallest person I believe that Canelo has ever fought. He fought Kovalev, who is billed at 6'1", but whenever he was standing in front of Andre Ward, they looked identical in height, and I believe Andre Ward's only 5'11". So take that for what it is. And then Canelo also got in there with Jacobs. Callum Smith should be 6'3", if my memory is correct. What I would do is what I always try to do and find a picture with all their stats after the video goes down to Canelo's 5'9". Now, when I think about Callum Smith and who just recently gave him problems was John Ryder, who was also 5'9". The difference in between Canelo and John Ryder is John Ryder's got, I know, a 72-inch reach and Canelo... I think has a 70, 70 and a half inch reach. Again, I like to find the pictures that got all their stats on it. So I had that post behind me in the background to correct me if I am wrong. So I believe Canelo has a 70, 70 and a half inch reach, which means that he's got a one and a half inch reach disadvantage to John Ryder, who is the same height as him. So you have to keep that in mind. But with that being said, John Ryder, a very come forward fighter, made Callum Smith look very bad. And a lot of people want to argue that John Ryder should have beat Callum Smith in that fight. Now, I know it's bad to go off of one fight alone to say that a guy's going to lose because of one fight, but I have to. I have to in this case because of John Ryder's stature of how short he is, how he's identical height to Canelo, and how Callum Smith didn't look that good against a pure pressure fighter. Well, there's a big difference in Canelo and Ryder when Canelo comes forward. Canelo's not only going to pressure you, but he is going to counterpunch you at the same time. And he hits, I believe, a lot harder than John Ryder. So you got a guy per pop who is going to do more damage, who's a much better counterpuncher, who's a smarter fighter, got a better defense, and he's going to be coming forward the same way. Now, with that being said, we have seen Canelo in there, as I mentioned earlier, with two taller men above six foot. That's Jacobs. Oh, I really hate driving guys and talking because a-holes on the road like this dude in front of me. But anyways, we seen him fight Daniel Jacobs, and we did see him fight Kovalev. In the Jacobs fight, he did very well. He made a great boxer like Jacobs look like an amateur. He just came in there, came forward, like I said, and he was doing very good in head movement, side to side movement. And he just kept Jacobs from being able to get off while tagging him every time he tried to get off. So that showed that Canelo did good against a tall fighter. Now I can bring up Kovalev. Some people want to argue that, oh, Kovalev didn't have enough time in between fights, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. Kovalev took the fight. So that excuse of not being ready because you were in between fights, you didn't have enough time for a fight camp, to me, goes out the window when you accept the fight. So I don't, I don't roll with that excuse. Now, what we saw in that fight was Canelo is susceptible to a very good jab, and I believe Callum Smith has a decent jab. Does he have a better jab than Kovalev? In my mind, no. Does his jab hit as hard as Kovalev? There's no way. There's no way it hits as hard as Kovalev. And Canelo ended up catching Kovalev late with a counter shot that put him to sleep. Now, thing is, people could be like, oh, Kovalev's never been knocked out by a jab before. Yeah, but Kovalev is known to tire later in the fight. And again, even though Canelo was getting hit by the jab all night, he kept coming forward, 
kept Kovalev backing up and you get a lot more tired backing up than you do moving forward. It, it works on your endurance in a different way, especially if you're Kovalev who's used to coming forward and not backing up. So there's that aspect to think about too. And even though he was getting out jabbed again, like I said, he weathered the storm to get the knockout. And he didn't look to get hurt anywhere throughout that fight. So I have to think about durability as well. Do I think Canelo is durable enough to take Callum Smith's shots? And I do. The thing about Callum Smith is, I don't think he's going to be able to, like, how I call the, the Martin Murray fight against Billy Joe Saunders. I don't think he's going to be fast enough to get off and move away from Canelo before Canelo can get off shots. I just, I don't see it. If he wins, he's a good champion. I just think that Canelo is too experienced, but in there with too many top level guys at this point in his career. And the height difference that Callum Smith has, in my opinion, doesn't really come down to a size difference. Because Canelo, and I'm going to leave that in there, y'all, when I got tongue tied, because Canelo is a very big guy. Even though he's short, weight wise, he's a big guy. And I don't know if Callum Smith is much bigger than him outside of fight competition. I mean, Canelo looks to be about maybe on the low end, 185, on the top end, 190 when he's walking around, just everyday life. Whereas, I'd imagine, I don't care what John Ryder says, I think they try to say that he blows up 200 plus, but he just doesn't look like he's built like that to me when I've seen him out of competition shape. And I don't know. I just, John Ryder to me looks like he may weigh about the same weight as Canelo outside of competition because he just doesn't look that big, bigly built, and his stature just doesn't seem to, well, his stature's the same, but his size just doesn't seem to increase that much, that significantly to me outside of fight competition. So I think come fight night, Canelo will be the bigger man. So I just think in this fight, and I, and I believe that when it comes down to defense, Callum Smith's a lot easier to hit than Canelo will be. Especially if Canelo can stay in range. Now, one good thing about Canelo, I will say, and I've given Canelo a lot of shit. So for all the people that are new here, don't think that I'm a Canelo fanboy because I'm not. I've given him a lot of shit. I think this is a good fight. I don't think John Ryder had enough time to prepare for this fight. In all honesty, I think he should have had longer for a training camp, but at the end of the day, going off of what I've seen and going off of what I know, as far as short camps and everything else, I just think Canelo edges on in pretty much every category, but height and reach. That's pretty much it. I mean, the reach could play a factor, but it didn't help Kovalev. It didn't help Daniel Jacobs, so I, I just I don't think the reach is going to be as big of a factor as some people think it might be even though Callum Smith will be the tallest man he's ever fought. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If y'all think I'm wrong off base, well, the fight's not happening today. So, you know, it's time for me to look at it, listen to y'all, come back and recalculate if I see something that sticks out. But that's pretty much how I see it going. As far as the outcome goes, I believe it'll be a, well, it's Canelo. So it's going to be a, a unanimous decision. You don't knock him out. He's going to win no matter what. So... But I don't think this is going to be one of them Canelo scorecard nights. I don't think this is going to be an Adelaide Bird scorecard night. I think he is going to convincingly win the fight. And I, I don't think... I don't think Callum Smith can make this fight a wide enough margin to be able to win on the scorecards. And I don't think he can knock Canelo out. I, I just don't. I think Canelo's chin is way too good. And I think Canelo has shown growth and levels in his boxing game to where he's not going to just sit there and allow somebody to knock him out, even if he ends up in a fight where he's getting outboxed. So knowing that Canelo cannot lose on the scorecards and knowing that John Ryder has struggled against a guy the same stature as Canelo, who was smaller, slower, doesn't hit as hard, defense isn't as good, I, just, I find it hard to pick. Callum Smith it's not impossible for him to win but I just say highly unlikely so again the outcome that I have 
as a unanimous decision for Canelo Alvarez going the distance. I don't think he knocks out Callum Smith. I think, like I said about Martin Murray, Callum Smith's too tough for that, and I don't think he's going to sleep. So let me know what y'all think again in the comment section, and that way I can see what all the UK people think about this. And don't be scared to comment. I got a bunch of y'all. I'm at 1.3K, and it's like the minute I got up here, I'm not even getting a little bit of comments anymore. So again, hit it up. Don't be scared. I respond to everybody. Even in that highlight video where I got 150K plus, I went down the line to respond to everybody I could. I probably responded to 500 plus people now. I know it's over a thousand. If I haven't got to you, I'm sorry, but it just keeps going up. And it's like, no matter how hard I try to get to all of y'all, I just can't. But I will respond to you if you leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching.